Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to be teaching you how to learn Japanese with the best Anki deck around. So I'm assuming you guys already know what Anki is. Anki is an app which you can use to learn any piece of information really. It's used by medical professionals, it's used by people that are trying to learn languages, any of those. So you're going to have to go to this website, apps.ankiweb.net. You click on download. It takes you here. If you've got a Windows, you can download here. If you've got a Mac, you can download here. Uh, if you've got Linux, you can download. But uh, for iPhone and iPad, there's also Anki Mobile, but this one is paid. So if you don't want to pay, then... Uh, you can't really use this one. You can still use the one that they have on the App Store, uh, not App Store, they have as an app on your laptop. But if you got an Android, there's a free one to use. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to this one, github.com. I'll put the link down here. Uh, this one is called Kaishi. And just like this, you go and download the deck. Then you import it directly into Anki, just like this. Here you can see 1,501 notes. So one of those notes is a note kind of introductory. We'll see here if we start. So this one, welcome to Kaishi, basically kind of explains what it is. Um, now that you've read this, feel free to suspend or even delete the card. I just delete the card. So you click it out like that. And then you, you go through 1,500 words. So if you're just a beginner, I would recommend kind of slow, doing it slowly, maybe like five words a day until you get used to it. While you're also doing this, it's recommended that you get some comprehensible input. So you can do that on YouTube or you can watch anime or manga or whatever. And what that will do is it will kind of make it so that the words are more ingrained into your brain. So what you want to do is you want to take it from learning it. And instead of just having learned it, you want it to become like ingrained in your brain. You don't want it to just be something that you've learned. There's a difference between something that you've learned and something that's ingrained into you. And what you need for a language is to ingrain it. So this one is I. 私私 this one is, so on this one I haven't. Yeah, well, once you have it as well, I would recommend turning on FSRS. FSRS is very, very useful. I would set the retention to 8.4. Uh, 90 is better for each individual card, but based on the research that's been done, somewhere around 8-4 is the best because of the, the amount of times you forget the card and then you get to see it. But I, I'm not going to go into that, but that's the settings I would use. FSRS, set this to 0 0.84, you click on save, go through the cards. This one is you. And it gives you a sentence. The sentences are important because some words, they've got multiple meanings or multiple readings, and you need to know which reading as well. You should also be able to read it and know the definition. But for the reading, you should do it in your head because if you do it in the beginning, you might fuck up your pronunciation of the words later on. That will be very, very difficult to fix. So this one is like a honor honorific san anata wa tomu san desu ka yeah this one is kare kare wa while i'm doing this i'm also thinking of what the word is saying how it's spelled how it's said in japanese in my head suki watashi wa wine ga suki desu this is person ano hi ii ano hito wa this is uh, this is referring to a person from like a specific country. Yeah. This is Japanese language. You can see you can go through it like this. The strategy that I use is I do 
a hundred of these every weekend and then on the week then week days i don't do any new cards i still do my old cards so what i would recommend is having a habit tracker which keeps you accountable should have a tracker that keeps you accountable so you can make sure to not miss any days because it's absolutely vital that you do not miss a single day of study when you're doing this. This is book. After you're finished with this process, the recommended uh, way to move forward is something called sentence mining, which I may show you in the future. But for now, this is the process that I wanted to show you. Once you have finished all 1,500 words, you would be fully ready to go move on to sentence mining. But while you're doing this, also get some input. So watch Japanese content without subtitles, right? Or if you are going to use subtitle, make sure it's Japanese subtitles. <laughs> 